Welcome to Fit for Your Face. My name is Katrina. And my name is Sloan. Today we're going to show you what our morning routine is like. Yes, yes, that's it. We're going to start with hair. <laughs> So, since my hair is normally naturally straight, um, sometimes in the morning I like to change things up and curl my hair. So, this is a curling wand from Nuke. Noom? Nuke? I don't know. Something like that. <laughs> and then since my hair is normally, well, naturally, I don't even know, kind of wavy, kind of not, I'm just going to straighten my hair. And I'm using the Croc Classic. So both of our um, appliances, uh, they go to 450 degrees, but I don't, like, it depends on how my hair is that day. If it's, like, crazy wavy, then I'll put it on a higher temperature, but if it's not that bad, then I'll put it at maybe, like, 410, 420. Yeah, that's, like, me, too. Usually, I like to use my curling wand at 410. So if you want, you can use a hairspray kind of thing that protects your hair, but... We just don't. The first step in both of ours is to brush out your hair. So this is why I straighten my hair. It's not the prettiest. <laughs> this is why I curl my hair because it's just always straight. So, so first I need to brush out my hair because it's crazy right now. <laughs> I've already brushed out my hair so I'm good for that. And then after you brush out your hair you're going to want to find some clips like this or even elastic to tie half your hair up. So since my hair is really thick, I use a bigger one. And since my hair is thin, I use this small. <laughs> so, so I just like to grab the top of my hair, like basically the same height as my eyebrows, and I just go around with my fingers like that, and I part my hair that way, and then I just kind of twist it around a bit. And then with this clip, I just keep my hair together like that so it stays up. Okay. I do the same. <laughs> okay. And don't worry about what the top of it looks like, like, mm -hmm. like that part, because <laughs> it's probably not going to be left in. So now I'm just going to start. And since this side's on, like over here, I'm gonna throw this back and I'm gonna grab a s somewhat small section. And then I'm just gonna start from the top and I'm just gonna press down and hold it all the way through, like that. And you wanna go somewhat slow, you don't wanna go too fast, otherwise you won't really straighten it that well and you'll have to keep doing it over and over again, which will damage your hair. So now for the curling wand, there's different sizes of this too. There's like a really small one, this is the medium one, and there's also a larger one. It depends on how big you want the curls to be. But since this is medium one, I'm only going to take a piece like that big, because I don't want them too big. And you're going to just start like this, slide up, and just wrap the rest of the hair around and kind of roll it towards you. I like to keep a little piece like this out because I don't like it to be like a total ringlet to the end. I like it a little more like wavy. And I'm gonna take mine out now because I don't want it to be too curly. I like it just wavy, so yeah. If you want like little curls, keep, you have to keep it in for longer. Also, when you purchase um, a curling wand, it usually comes with a glove that you're supposed to wear so you don't burn yourself, but I lost mine, <laughs> so I'm not wearing it, And but it's a good idea too because I burned myself twice using this, and it's not very fun, <laughs> and I'll probably burn myself in this video. But <laughs> Just be careful when you get close to your ear that you pull your hair out so that you don't end up like uh, accidentally clamping onto your ear and burning it. 
Yeah, it would hurt a lot. <laughs> also, when you take out this hair, make sure that you're not going too close to your arm or else you'll burn your arm. That's what I did. Because I wasn't paying attention. Make sure you always pay attention when you're curling your hair or straightening it. Careful when you get to the back that you don't burn yourself because you can't really see what you're doing. Okay, so now I'm gonna do this top section. And I'm just gonna keep my hair that already is straight like back here so it doesn't interfere. And then I part my hair the way that I like it. Like that. And then I take the two sections and I bring it to the front. Like that. And I'm also gonna brush the section up too. And then I'm going to do the same thing that I did to the bottom half. You want to make sure if you're doing this in the morning too that you allow yourself enough time. Yeah. And also the thicker your hair is, the longer it'll take to do. Mm -hmm. Especially if your hair is extremely curly or just not straight. You want to allow yourself more time yeah. because it'll take a lot longer. And curling usually takes longer than straightening too because you need to hold every piece. And when I'm straightening my hair, I want to be careful how I clamp down because you don't want to get any kinks. So sometimes I need to go over my hair to fix them. Okay, so I'm done the first layer, so I'm going to take my top hair out. And be careful not to brush out the curls you just made or else, well, some people stay in, but some others, they kind of go flat and really like frizzy. So try not to brush them out. So we don't have any mirrors that show the back of your head. So to just make sure that that's straight, I just feel around and kind of move it to the front and see if I'm missing any sections that aren't straight. So I'm just going to brush out my hair again. If you're straightening or curling your hair, make sure that your hair is dry before. So if you just came out of the shower, um, make sure that you like blow dry it or towel dry it and then leave it to dry and before you do this or else it won't turn out very well. And then sometimes when I move around my hair, I'll find that there's just little pieces that aren't fully straight or a little bit curly. So I just look for them and then I fix them. And if you're going to curl your hair, I find that um, a lot of people have troubles if they straighten their hair first and then curl it. But it also depends on your hair because since mine, I don't know why, but for some reason when I straighten my hair and then curl it, it works but for other people it just falls out. So mm -hmm. keep that in mind. So if your hair is not curling very well, then use hairspray because it helps to maintain the shape of the curls. You can hairspray it before you curl it or after. Since my hair is really thick and I hate when I straighten it and it looks like kind of puffy, I like to just make two parts and just quickly just kind of go over it again, but like not too much because I find it makes it look more thin. When you straighten your hair or curl it or use anything electronic, you want to make sure it's not near any water. So if you're like washing your hands, you want to make sure that the cords aren't near it. Also make sure when you're not using like a wand or something, the straightener is okay because it has stuff on the outside, but the metal part of this is all the hot part, so you don't want to rest it like right on a surface for the surface to burn. Um, that's also why it's helpful to have the glove because you can put the glove down and then put this on top. There are pads that you can buy, that are like heat pads or something, so that when you put any like heat on it, it doesn't affect the counter or anything like that. What I like to do with the back of the hair too is I like to take all my hair to the sides so there's none in the back because then I can make sure everything is curled. Okay, so I'm done. That looks like. 
I'm done too. <laughs> and so once you finish, you can just style it the way you want like this. And here we can turn around. And also make sure when you're done with using them, turn yep. them off and unplug them so they don't cause a fire. Yeah, always make sure you remember that. <laughs> Mine actually turns off. And I think Katrina's does yeah, too. Yeah, off button. But it's just safer to also unplug it. Yeah. Just so this is the hair portion of how we get ready in the morning. You can watch our next video to see how we cleanse, moisturize, and put makeup on. So we'll see you later on Fit for a Feast. Bye!